What's good, family? Shout out to my doggy Ebby for coming through and boosting up your man the YB dire coin situation. So we got some interesting and spicy news right now regarding your man's Keith once upon a time Furman. Yeah, Keith ponytail cat Furman. Tell actually, Keith. Okay, listen, Keith losing his ponytail. Yeah, Keith, listen. You man, the YB picking up where Keith left off. We must, we must rest in peace. Keith's wig right now. Keith wig. Ever listen. Ever all I'm saying is, ever since Pacquiao finished with Furman, his wig it started falling out. Simple as that. Yeah. What people people are saying. Pacquiao properly pushed Keith Furman's long pon long luscious ponytailed head wig have an ass all the way back. Yeah. His hairline. Again, we, all we can do at this point is pray right now. Enough, there's nothing left to be said about Keith Furman's wig and Keith Furman's hairline. Pacquiao took the best of it from him. Yeah, Keith Furman hairline stay posted on his crown right now, no doubt. Anyway, like I said, Keith once upon a time, Furman and Connor Ben is looking to be in the cut right now. Yeah, Eddie Hearn looking to put it in the spotlight right now. He says he has the big money up. And these are the exact quotes from Eddie Hearn. We want the Keith Furman fight. I had a million questions here today about Conor Ben versus Chris Ewank Jr. We're not in the final negotiations about that fight. It's a fight that always gets brought up because it's one of the fights, biggest fights of all time right now. But right now, we're focused on the welterweight division for Ben. And hopefully, that'll be Keith, once upon a time. Yeah, Keith, once upon a wig, Furman. Keith, once upon a hairline, Furman, said Hearn. Now, listen man, I feel bad for Keith right now. Truth be known, Keith is one of them. The reason I feel bad for Keith, well to be fair, I don't feel bad for Keith. Keith got no one to blame but himself. I remember, f what, three, well, probably four or five years ago now, but... It feels like yesterday that Furman was the guy. Yeah, there was a period of time five years ago that Furman, he was the man. And it was like Spence was begging to get some spotlight. Do you remember that times? Furman was the guy. He had two belts and he beat Danny Garcia. He beat Porter. He was that, isn't it? He, Furman was the guy and then he fell off. Furman, from what I've heard, Found some Nepalese chick. He went to Thailand. Went to Nepal. He found some sweet Nepalese ting. Yeah, and the bottom line is that Nepalese coochie got him gassed. And he was never the same since. Yeah, his knees were weak. That's what it was, 100%. That Nepalese cooch was just too, yeah, too refined, too powerful. Had his knees all buckled. Yeah, that's the bottom line here. Furman was the man. And then a little bit of cooch took him off the path. And he's never been the same. This, this, a, this really should be a big warning to any up and coming boxers. Your life, really, maximum in, until really 37. All you have to do is stay focused until 37. And then you can smash all the sweet Nepalese things you want. Don't do it in the middle of your peak boxing career. Don't do that. Otherwise, you end up like Furman, washed by Pacquiao who was old and now you're being essentially served up on another up and coming plate Conor Ben it's about I'm the, I just feel bad for Keith man it's not even a I think the fight's great that's why I'm doing this video this video isn't going to be a big commercial video for me but the topic of this is great I love this fight at the moment I can't lie to you I'm becoming a Conor Ben fan Especially at 147. Most of the 147 cats are tip tap toe cats, yeah? They go in there and they fanny around. Furman, I mean, sorry, Connor Ben, he approaches this game like a heavyweight almost. He reminds me of a, a welterweight version of Mike Tyson in that respect. Not the skills or the technique, but in terms of his attitude to the game. Now, it has to be said, he hasn't been in there with no one who really trying to fight back, but still. From what we've seen, will Conor Ben end up being a bust like Canelo? 
in that sense? Will Conor Ben end up in a hard fight and just roll over and sit on the ropes like Canelo? Well, we don't know, but so far so good is the point. And this will be a great fight to test that, wouldn't it? Now, I'm not saying is Furman who he used to be five years ago. No, we know that. We know Pacquiao pushed his hairline all the way back. Yeah, we know his hairline is unlikely to recover now. Yeah, we, <laughs> we know his wig is unlikely to be found after Pacquiao pushed it off his head for him. But still, like Eddie Hearn says, the money's big. And where's Furman going from here? Yeah, Furman, he ain't going to get an Errol Spence fight, in my opinion. He just ain't good enough anymore. When you think about the young guns coming up, Boots Ennis and even Conor Ben, that's the point here. I actually, I would back, I will put money on Conor Ben beating Furman. I think there's an argument he may even end up stopping him. That said, I want to see it. But with that in mind, Boots Ennis and Conor Ben would both beat Furman. So Furman ain't going to get a Errol Spence fight. And arguably, the amount of money Eddie Hearn will pay for Furman. I actually don't think Furman versus Spence will pay Furman more than this fight. Keith Furman, if he's being managed well, will take this fight as an into the sunset fight. He ain't the same. He ain't going to be the same now. He done, in my opinion. Take this fight. And fair play. Listen, what I will say is, whilst it sounds like I'm maybe being harsh on Furman, and or writing him off. What I will say is. If Furman beats Ben. Then it's back on like Donkey Kong. If you get what I'm saying. And when I talk about it being back on Donkey Kong. I mean in regards to Keith Furman's alleged title. Title demands. Keith Furman was saying. Oh we're going to make the Crawford fight. We're going to make the Spence fight. Yeah, You ain't done. Unfortunately you ain't that guy who you used to be. There was a time when. Either one of them two, Spence and Crawford, would have loved that fight. Now, you're any man to them. However, if you beat Conor Ben, you're back in the mix. But you need this kind of fight to get back in the mix, in my opinion. Now, it might sound mad. I'm sure there's some USA cats who say, what? Why be this? Who's Conor Ben? He do, Keith Furman don't need Conor Ben. I'm just telling you the truth. In terms of how things are playing out right now, Conor Ben's on the up and up and Furman's on the down and down. But like I say, all that takes, if I'm wrong, yeah, if Furman goes in there and beats Ben, or God forbid stops Ben, then he's back on. And of course, he will be in the number one position in my book to fight Spence or a Crawford, for example. But at this point in time, what does Furman really have to offer? He don't have no belts. He'd been beat by Pacquiao, who was older. What does he really have in the last few years? Not a lot. He has to take this fight. It will be... And I think, unfortunately, if Furman doesn't take this fight, he's going to end up losing to someone for less money and of worse calibre than Conor Ben. That's what I think is likely to happen. I've got a feeling Furman is going to slip on a banana. I just don't... Sorry, I just don't see Keith Furman having enough to get to that Spence fight. Right, nothing he shows me. Don't forget people, yeah. He got beat by Pacquiao three years ago. And he looked rusty. That was three years ago. Do you understand? It's been three years since then. His hairline ain't getting no more luscious. Yeah, His hairline ain't going to start creeping forward over the last three years. No, it's gone back even more. Simple as that. This fight's a great fight for the fans. It's, I'm not saying Furman's scared, but... I don't know what to say, people. This, for me, is a particular fight that makes sense in all regards. Yeah? I'm happy for Furman to make money in this fight because it's a cracking fight. It's a 50-50 fight in principle. I think it's more actually like an 80-20 fight towards Ben. But do you know what I'm saying? In in terms of name recognition, it's 50-50. If anything, actually, I'd put the name side on Furman. Globally speaking. But where else is Furman going to go? But what worries me is, unfortunately, Furman... Is PBC and PBC. When was the last time you saw a PBC guy fight someone outside of their network? Exactly. So unfortunately, Al Heyman's funny style politics most likely is going to mean the fans don't get the fight we want to see. I know every fan wants to see this fight. This right here is a nail biting fight. But it's boxing, so we don't get nail biters. Oops. <laughs>